Hi, I'm Al My Pal, and today I'm going to talk to you about tips to help with chronic pain. Now, I suffer from chronic pain and have done for a few years now. Um, I have arthritis in my spine, uh, I also have a few complications in my hip. And chronic pain doesn't mean it's it just means it's a long-term pain uh, that you have to manage and unfortunately you can take tablets it takes the edge off but there are tips that you can do to help even more uh, mostly it's um, distraction techniques but today I'm gonna discuss um, a little kit basically that you have sometimes um, when you have got chronic pain and you're in that flare-up mode you can't even think straight you don't know what to do you sit there and sometimes you just cry so this is what I have got to help I have a bag and in it I put my kit so when I have those flare-up moments I can just look in there and decide exactly what I need to use at the time obviously you're not going to use everything in one go sometimes you just need one thing or two things or all things anyway I'm going to show you my bag so I'm going to be recording this in sections because I want to sort of give it a bit of an in-depth um, talk about each item uh, I know some of these are quite simple but you don't actually realize how much relief you get from them now this is a wheat bag and you can buy it from lots of different places um, I got mine from Argos but you can get them from supermarkets and health food shops um, I find these are better than a hot water bottle because as you can see they're really bendy. You can put them round your knee, you can put them round your back. They're filled with wheat and basically what you do is you put them in the microwave for a couple of minutes. I know some people are fearful of this because they've smoked or they've caught fire, but to be honest, if you follow the manufacturer's instructions, put them in for the correct length of time, then have no problem at all with them. Uh, I do sometimes put them down into my clothes and put them around the back in right into my lower back with my clothes on and walk around um, the only thing with them the only drawback is they do lose heat quite rapidly so I always make sure I have a couple um, and I find also I can wrap it around my wrists because I do have carpal tunnel syndrome and I have had one operation and it wasn't that successful and I really do not want a second operation and I do not want to have an operation on my other hand because the operation wasn't as bad but it was the after the after effects anyway so that is my wheat bag and now I'm gonna put that into my kit so the second thing in my kit is a TENS machine now what they do is they send electrical impulses into your nerves which help stop the pathways to the pain I find them very useful you put the sticky pads on either side of wherever the pain is you obviously don't put them on bone because that's not good um, there are two two sections so you can use two parts of your body at the same time uh, it lasts a half an hour but you can carry on and do it again for another half an hour. Uh, you can't overdose on this. Um, and I actually bought mine from Lloyd's Pharmacy, but you can get them from Boots, uh, Argos, most places sell them now. Um, they're very cheap. They're only like something like 12 pounds. You can get a wireless one, but I must admit, I did find with the wireless one that the pads were really, really rigid. Um, and it, they didn't work as well they're more expensive so I just find the cheap one is much better and I've had this now for about four years um, and it's just lasted me so um, I hope you get on with this one uh, so this is the second part and it's going in my kit right, the third thing I use is for my hands 
and it's a wrist splint. I only use this for when I go to bed because it keeps your hand in position and your wrist in position um, and this is used for people with carpal tunnel syndrome or you can use it for arthritis as well but I actually use it because I have carpal tunnel um, because what happens is you go to bed I don't wear if I don't wear this my hands go numb and I actually wake up it wakes me up with the numbness I find when I wear these I don't get numbness very well very rarely do I get it um, I did get this from the NHS but that was because I had physio uh, you do have to buy them they're about £12 each for each hand I buy the buy them on Amazon um, I find them very useful and it does take away the pain at night and the numbness so I really wouldn't be without them you may be able to get it on the NHS uh, you have to see if you, if you if you do have physio and also physiotherapist um, and I do have a second one which I shall bring in now um, I use a rollator to walk with and this is something that I'd never had before which my physio suggested um, this wasn't a private physio this was actually an NHS physio um, it's something that you use it pads the wrist area to help stop the pressure um, and this was great so if you do suffer with carpal tunnel um, it's best you try and get these things before you have the operation uh, to save you having an operation because as I said um, it, it's not always successful and once you do have the operation it does leave scar tissue so that can cause problems as well so um, that's for my hands anyway I'm going to put that into my kit. This is the fifth item in my kit um, and it's an exercise band. I find them very useful. You can do it while you're sitting in your chair. There are lots of exercises you could do, very gentle exercises. Um, it's the lightest one that they do. You can have stronger and stronger ones as you get stronger. Um, you can do as little or as much as you want. Uh, you can go on the internet and look at different exercises. The physio actually recommended I do it for my um, bursitis that I have for my hip, which I do. Um, so yeah, they're very versatile, they're extremely cheap. You can buy them from lots and lots of places. Um, and that's the fifth item in my kit. Okay, so the next two things are going to be medications that you can buy over the counter. Um, now I use these because I can use them with my tablets some people probably might not be able to use them um, but this is a topical gel I use Voltarol um, I also use ibuprofen gel as well uh, I use them occasionally because I get eczema and if I use them too much my eczema will flare up because they are a bit strong on your skin. Uh, I find them absolutely marvellous if you have a pain at night, especially at night time, you wake up with pain. Um, if you just put some of this on, and I'll tell you, within about five minutes, the pain goes. It's wonderful. Um, it's only, I think, 0.05% it actually absorbs into the bloodstream. So if you have any other... Um, non-steroid tablets that you take it should be fine but it's best you contact your doctor uh, but as I said I actually buy this over the counter um, I don't normally buy a brand I tend to buy the um, chemist's own brand which is exactly the same strength uh, anyway so that's that um, and I'm just gonna put that into my bag and I shall see you in the next section. So last but not least I have these code codamols. Um, again I only use them in emergencies because if you use them on a regular basis you just don't feel the benefits. Um, they are good for pain 
they can be slightly addictive they do have codeine in so it's actually best just to take a couple when you're really struggling I generally take mine at night time because I need a good night's sleep as everyone does and if you're constantly being woken up with pain um, then I just take a couple of these and I go back to sleep I don't take them in the daytime uh, they can make you feel a bit funny or drowsy so especially if you're driving and it's best not to take them in the day um, also I can take them with my tablets that I take uh, that are prescribed to me by the GP but of, again if if you are on a lot of tablets it is best to check with your GP if um, you can take these anyway I'm gonna put those into my bag and I'll see you in the next section what I do is I put all of my things I've just shown you in a bag and I keep them down the side of my chair in the lounge so I know that they're always to hand and I can just pick what I want out of any of the items um, depending on my pain um, and it just helps it makes things life easier it makes things less stressful you're always stressed when you're in pain um, this way it just alleviates the stress a bit anyway um, take care um, I hope this has helped uh, if you like my video please give me a thumbs up and if you'd like to subscribe to my channel please hit the subscribe button anyway if you'd like to leave any comments below please do and I shall try to answer all of them uh, and if you have any experience or experiences or any other tips you'd like to share that would be great anyway take care and I'll see you soon